Hi YouTubers, today I'd like to talk about a 12 millimeter wrench size. 12 millimeter is a very common size for me working on motorcycles and I have several complete sets of wrenches and I'd just like to go over some of them and show you the different lengths, the benefits, or the weaknesses of certain models. First one I'll start with the ratcheting wrenches and this is a Jonesway model here. I guess you could describe this as a flex offset ratcheting. This came as a complete set from a Fastenal company. And I, I, it, was, it was less than $50 when I bought it. And this might be able to get you out of a jam in certain situations. And one thing I will, there, there is slot between, get that, between the adapter here. If you can notice that. And there's quite a bit of back drag on these too, compared to my other ratchet wrenches. But they will, it'll flex that way and that way. So if you need an oddball combination, this might be able to get you out of a jam. And the overall length in this configuration, there is a different adapters. Instead, and I know this isn't fitting all the way in the camera angle, but we're at somewhere like 17 and a half inches and or 43 and a half centimeters next this is the easy red and these are the current easy red models this size being the 12 millimeter can get that in there. Again, these you can see how this flexes there. These wrenches are made in Taiwan and they have nice light back drag on the ratcheting action. Now the problem with these is the width of the head. I can really see that can really prevent you from getting, if, I mean, if your bolt head is in a narrow area, the width of this body could really cause problems. In the old style Easy Red, the actual rot ratcheting mechanism used to stick out past the body here. And if you'd still like that tight, uh, mountain manufactures them now or if you want to pay three or four times the price buy the, buy the Matco ones because Matco sells the exact same ones at a heavily inflated price next ratcheter would be the gear wrench model The thing I do like about these is the solid closed end, you can call it, you know, box type or ring type, depending on where you are in the world. You can bust it loose with this side, flip it over on your ratchet, and give it, and very quickly remove it or snug it up. This is, the, this head is much. I won't say it's much narrower, but I'll compare it to the Easy Red. And actually, I do like these wrenches. These are good wrenches. This particular set is made in Taiwan, but I do understand some of their production has moved to China now. But I do like these. Next would be the Cougar Pro model. I 
Cougar Pro's Division of Right tool, but these are not made in the United States. These are made in Taiwan. And these ones are reversible. It does have, I believe it's 15 degree offset. And again, nice light back drag compared to the Jones Way or Easy Reds. And head not head's not overly sized either. I'll compare this one to the gear wrench. Length on the Cougar Pro. Alright, that's the end of my ratcheting wrenches. Next would be the Cornwell double box in. We got 12 millimeter here and 11 millimeter on this side. These are made in Mogador, Ohio in the USA. Uh, the complete set of these, which I do own, is not cheap. It's, you know, it's, it's about $400. And Cornwell does not sell on the website like many of the other tool truck brands do nowadays but look at the length on that you know we're, uh, like 11 and a half inches and there you can see the head see how narrow that is you can really get these into tight areas and there is no offset Very nice wrench. Next double ring. This is the Stallwell Stable 20 model. These are made in Germany. If I can bring that up there. And there you get an idea of the offset. Overall length. And maybe there, there you get a good idea of the offset. Very nice wrenches, nice finish on them. And the, the thing about these is they feel really light in your hands. Very happy with these. I actually I purchased this set on Amazon. Next, this is an SK made in the USA. Has a flex socket on the box side. A super chrome model. Nice chrome finish on these. Here's your overall length. And that away. On the socket end, these are 12 point. And it's a pretty wide area. I would not consider that, you know, like a thin wall socket. And again, a nice made in the USA wrench. There's a little on the opened end. Next, this is a standard SK Super Chrome wrench, but it's a six point on the box end. Again, nice narrow body. The opened end and overall length. Next, this is the right tool, right grip wrench. 
box end is 12 point on these. And the open end, I'm going to try to get this to focus in on there. Right here you can see those indentions or serrations there. These will really grab on to a nut or bolt and not slip. Very similar to Snap-on's Flank Drive Plus. But this is Wright Tools model. These are made in Barberton, Ohio, USA. The bad thing about these serrations is if you're working on like a motorcycle with chrome nuts or bolts that will mar it up. So if that's a concern you would not want to use this open then on a you know a highly finished fastener. This is this is the exact same wrench in a satin finish. Again, right tool, right grip. It's identical to the previous one except for the finish. Again, 12 point. I don't know if I did the overall length. And there's your length on that. Next on the list, this is a, it's branded a Spiro and patented in Germany, but I'm sure these are not made in Germany. I bought these from uh, Grit's Garage, which is really a, he's like a, a detailing supply house. It's and it's been several years since I owned them, but they they have a pretty thin head on them. I'll compare them to the right. And on the box end, they have stops on this end. So when you place this on a nut or bolt, it won't pass all the way over. It'll actually stop, flush. And whether Griot still sells these or not, I'm not sure. They just, when I bought these mail order, they just constantly send you catalogs. And I mean like every week. And... So I did email them to get off their mailing list because this catalog's the same every month. They just they change the cover on it, and I just I got tired of all the junk mail and I quit purchasing from those. Overall length, next would be a master mechanic. Master Mechanic was the house brand of uh, True Value. Now, I think it still is. And I worked there when I was in high school back in the mid to late 80s. This particular model is made in the USA. And I believe the manufacturer was ESCO, but I'm not positive on that. But it served me well over the years. And I'm sure the current master mechanics are not made in the USA. There's your length. Next is the Fakem open socket wrenches. These particular models are six point on each side. Fakem is a French brand but the box these came in said they were manufactured in the Czech Republic. Here you can see they have an open back. What I've used these for specifically the, the 10 millimeter is for like a screw and lock nut valve adjustments. 
you can place this over your lock nut and then you can still get a screwdriver down through the center of this. These aren't real popular in the USA. I know uh, Sears actually offered these in the Craftsman brand for a year or two. Here's your overall length. Maybe another thing, you could place like a steel rod through this end too to give you a torque to wrench it over. But he's kind of unique. I like him. Next is a Fakem obstruction wrench. These I'm not sure where they're manufactured. They're, they're not marked anywhere on the wrench and neither was the package. Uh, here's your 12 millimeter side, 12 point. Nice finish on these. Again, this isn't something you have to use often, but when you need an obstruction wrench, you need an obstruction wrench. Your length. And next we have, this is a right tool flare nut. Again, this is double sided. You got 10 mil here and 12 mil on this side. Nice thick head. Because your main problem when you buy the cheap one of these, the problem you have is this spreading your jaws here. I've never had that happen with these rights. But then I haven't used them all that often either. Again, manufactured in the USA. And your overall length. Next the Vulnerable Crow's Foot Wrench. This is a Craftsman model. I've owned it, owned the complete set of these for years. Again, this is the 12 millimeter. You may not be able to pick that up there. With a 3 8 drive on the square end. Just put it next to the ruler there and get an idea of that size. And last is the SK Crow's Foot Flare Nut type. Again, these are made in the USA. This is a 12 millimeter size and 3 8 drive on the square. And there's your size. So that's my 12 millimeter wrench size comparison and what I keep here. And I'd like to know everyone else's favorites and what you like about them, what you dislike about them. Post down and let me know. Thanks for watching.